What's up guys, Viper here from Saints and Angels Gaming, and we've got Far Cry 4 multiplayer. Now, I have been playing this for a while recently, and I am absolutely in love with this game. It is unlike any other multiplayer game we have ever seen before. Um, it's nothing like Call of Duty, nothing like Battlefield. It's way different from anything we've ever seen, and that's what makes it so much fun. Um, the, the way, the, what's different about it from all those other games is that there's two different teams. Um, there's the Raksha Asa and the Golden Path. The Golden Path is what I'm playing on now. That's the um, average, you know, Call of Duty or average Battlefield, your average first person shooter um, class setup, class type. Um, with the guns, you've got your different loadout. You see here, you got my pistol, the grenade, my. Um, I actually have a shotgun in this class as well. So you kind of have two separate primary guns, and then you got your RPG, or your launcher, or your flamethrower, or whatever you want to equip. So this is your normal um, class. I'm using the SG, STG, SGT, one of those right now. I'm not quite sure. Let me get this guy. Not quite sure what um, gun this is. There's the AK. There's um, the F1, which is similar to the FAMAS. I don't like that gun tried to play with it a few times. Don't like it. Ooh, okay, so this is something that the Raksha Asa has control of. They have control of animals. They can. They have control of elephants. I'm pretty sure they're the only ones that can ride the elephants. I don't know. I'll have to test that out. Um, they have control over the eagles, like you saw. And they have control over bears and tigers. Tigers are the most... Um, they're kind of like kill streaks, I guess. So the tigers are more powerful than the bear, than the eagle. Eagle you saw was just kind of annoying, and it's almost like a little UAV if you watch it. Um, it kind of roams around the sky and kind of nitpicks at little guys. Um, ooh, this thing's extremely hard to control. What happened there? Did I just get killed by. I just got ran over by a teammate. That's interesting. Alright, um, but yeah, so they have control over that, you'll see me play it, and I'll talk a little bit more about that, um, when we switch sides. Um, this is something interesting, you can buy different things as in the game, you can buy armor, you can buy explosives, I'm gonna buy some armor right now, and you can buy, um, uh, rounds, give you more power. Um, okay, so this is the problem, um, you'll see in the top left hand corner, there's the little bar, it's, go it's counting up from 5% right now. 100% is when the game would end. We have to make sure that they don't get there within the time limit. Um, that's what the Golden Path's goal is to do. I should have gotten a vehicle. It takes too long to run here. Um, but yeah, that's the Golden Path's goal. And the Rakshas is go it tries to obviously take that from them. Um, then that's round one. One team one player, or the team switch. One's uh, Skolden Path, one's Rakshasa. And then they switch for round two. Whoever was on... See, there goes the elephant and it's charging at me and it looks like I died. Alright. Got trampled by an elephant. Great. Um, but yeah, so then round two you will switch. We will go to Rakshasa and the other guys will go to the Golden Path. Alright, I'm going to be smart. I'm going to take a vehicle this time. So it looks like we're doing pretty good. Um, if we can keep it pretty low here, round two, all we need to do is get past that set, uh, that set percent, um, and we will be good. One of the things I want to talk about is you can kind of see. I'm gonna see if I can run this guy. No, just set up here. Um, on the cor out in the far distance, there's, there's the bell tower. Um, if you don't know what the bell towers are, go ahead and I'll link in the description to our Far Cry f Let's Play um, single player. Me and Tyrant go off on that, and that is such a fun game. Oof. That guy's terrible. Alright. Oh shoot, there's a guy right behind me. I didn't even notice that. you dare pick him up. I'm going right back down. Alright, I'm going to execute these guys. Stomp. Dead. Stomp. 
dead. Alright, but that UA, or the bell tower, I'll link uh, the Let's Play in the description, you guys can go ahead and see what the bell towers are all about. Far Cry 4 is just such a good game in general. We play on the Xbox One, and it is amazing. The graphics are amazing, the story mode is amazing, go go watch that if you haven't, if, or if you haven't played it. Um, but the bell tower, the bell tower is kind of like a UAV. Here you'll see there. It looks like they didn't get anything. Did they get nothing? Did it go back down? So if we held it for long enough time, it will slowly go back down. So they got zero. If we're able to finish the game on 1%, we would win. So let's do that. So you'll see, here's my loadout. We have unlimited arrows, um, but we have two, an option of two special arrows, and there's six different special arrows you can choose from. I think I have the fire arrow, Yep, and then the spread arrow, which gives you like four arrows at once, which is pretty cool. Um, let's wait for this thing to load. But you can see um, where it says deactivate. At the very beginning of the game, the uh, the golden path starts off. Well, I was going to try to get up this hill and glide, that's okay. The golden path starts off with control of that tower and what it is is you could kinda see when we were playing as the golden path is it's kinda like a um, UAV almost like a constant blackbird because you can see where everybody is at all times where they're facing where they're running you can see all that so it's an extremely powerful thing I'm gonna go try to deactivate that right now because if we're able to deactivate it which looks like one of my teammates is already going up there um, if we're able to deactivate that um, that's going to help us big time. Um, Alright. So now we're... Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't get that. Alright, but... So that's how that works. They're, you're obviously able to revive your teammates. That's why the other guys can execute you. Um, but here, here's one of the cool things about the Rakshasa team. You have these plants. Red plants, green plants, and yellow plants. And they all do different things for you different power-ups. Um, I'll show you in a minute. The red is like a little speed boost, kind of like overclock. The green is health, so when you're dying you can um, regain health or if you've been shot. And the last one is... looks like nobody's around here. Let's go. We'll take that. Alright, so you can, well, you can, the last one is yellow and that's like a ghost walker. Um, but that is, that is not what you're seeing right here. Anytime, ooh, not good kill. Anytime you crouch, you you go invisible. Is our action? Well, I don't know why it's not working right now. There we go. You go invisible, and it's kind of like the exo cloak on Advanced Warfare, and it's actually a hell of a lot more effective than you would think. We need to get on this. Um, it's a hell of a lot more effective, and the reason is because you can you can kind of see that little outline. Ooh, getting shot here. Heal. Um, you can kind of see the outline, but not really. Um, if you're if you use it right. If I'm sitting here in a dark thing, nobody's gonna see me if you walk in. I've had people run straight through, look at me, and not notice me because I'm sitting here. That would never happen in advanced warfare. Oh, did he need to be revived? Ah, I feel like an asshole now. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, but he's sniping from way up there. Alright, let's see if we can get him down next life. But here, um, can I just spawn at the bell tower? Okay, so this red plant. I'll get this red plant and show you what this red plant does. You hold here, and it's like a little speed boost. It's a little syringe. I got a really fast guy, which is kind of cool. Um... The yellow one don't have any yellow flowers. See if I can get one of those. But yeah, so the other th the other thing is you'll see in the bottom right as time goes on, you get like kind of points, and these points will add up to your control over the animals, which you've already seen. God damn it, host migration. <laughs> but you'll see, um, you saw in when we were playing with the golden path, the different animals that were called, and you saw the eagle. You didn't really see the bear. The bear's the purple one, and then there's the tiger. Um, if you wait a while, you'll get the tiger, or you can call on the bear, or you can call on the eagle. Eagle's, like, kind of worth one point, 
Bears worth two points, and the Tigers worth three points. So, you know, you can call in. If you, right now, I could call in one bear or two birds. Um, so I'm going to run over here. I'm going to go run to our capture point. I'm going to call in my bear. I'll show you what that looks like. Looks like they have a bear. So I'm calling... I'm going to get another surrender. I'm going to call in a bear right here. So you kind of throw, purple smoke comes out, and there's a bear. It's really cool, actually. Um, revive a teammate. Revive a teammate. How do I... It's glitching out. God damn it. Okay, but... So now that bear's going to run around like crazy, and it is going to destroy everything. <laughs> Let's get a yellow leaf. Let's show you guys the yellow leaf. Yellow syringe. Let's use it here. It's kind of like it's what they call the ghost walker. So I'm kind of invisible to an extent to other people. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much Rakshasa. And that's what makes the game so much fun. Um, this is one of like four game modes. And, uh, it's kind of like hard point, which they call outpost. Um, I love this. I mean, just, the, we've never seen a game like this before. And I think that's what makes it so much fun. It's new. We'll see if it gets boring after a while. Hopefully they'll add more stuff to it. Alright, I'm going to exit ghost walk. I'm going to get sniped. Yep, that's what I'm afraid of. Hopefully they revive me. Oh no, that's somebody else. Shit. Come on, buddy. Jamie God. Get him, man. And I got sniped again. Alright, I really need to get out of here. Come on. I don't think I'm getting out of this. Get my Bengal tiger. Alright. We need to go back to the bell tower, which is what I'm going to do right now. But yeah, I mean, this game is so much fun. Um, single player is amazing. We're going to do a co-op Let's Play as well um, pretty soon. Um, I don't know when that's going to be. I don't know. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you will know. You'll get updates. So that way you won't miss anything. Somebody was shooting at me. There he is. Come here, buddy. Haha, <laughs> good one. Alright, we got 20 seconds left. Is it... I'm gonna just execute him. Oh, no, it does look okay. Um, looks like we won. We got 27%. They got about... They didn't get any, did they? Nope, they got nothing. Where's his mother? The area around the flag. Good kill. Alright, I am not going out there because of the snipers. I'm going to hang back a little bit. I hear a teammate or did I hear somebody else come over this way? I think I heard a teammate. Alright. That is not a teammate. Ooh, got one. Okay, he's gonna execute me there. Got 20 seconds left. Whew. That's what bug. The one thing that bugs me about Rakshasa is you do sp you if you click the base, you'll spawn on kind of like a cliff, so you'll be able to jump down and glide most of the way to things. And but you don't have any vehicles. Anything that you can use. Ooh, good kill. Good way to end the game off. All right, but. This has been Viper from Saints and Angels Gaming. Go ahead and check out our Far Cry 4 single player Let's Play. Let me know if you guys want to see some more Far Cry 4 multiplayer. Um, there's, I think, four game modes, so I could explain some of the other game modes, not just Outpost. Um, or if you wanted to see some better quality gameplay, um, better games than um, what you're seeing here, um, let me know. Got some great GTA 5 videos coming up pretty soon, as well as some competitive Call of Duty games. So if you're into those MOG, UMG uh, games,
gaming stuff, definitely subscribe because I'm going to be po posting some tips and tricks videos that you can share with your team that's going to really help you guys out for competitive games, things like hard point rotations and um, different strategies. So definitely stay tuned for that. Subscribe, leave a rating, and see you later.